Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us for another episode of Certified, Certiport's Educator Podcast. I'm your host, Hannah Cropo. Join us as we dive into the world of education, certification, and technology. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Certified, Certiport's Educator Podcast. We are so happy to have you listening with us today because we have a very exciting and important discussion that we wanted to talk about with the Certified Educator Conference happening this summer. So we're very lucky to be able to have Ben Lambert and Dominique Delbar here with us. So these are members of our incredible events team. And before we dive in, I just wanted to give them a quick chance to introduce themselves. So Ben, we'll go ahead and start with you. Hey, thank you, Alan. So Ben Lambert, I'm the Director of Field Marketing at Certiport. I've been around for a little over 10 years, and I oversee the marketing team. Awesome. Ben's been here since the very beginning of Certified. We were just talking about that. It's been one of his great accomplishments on our team. So Ben, we're so happy to have you here. Dominique, do you want to go ahead next? Yeah, absolutely. My name is Dominique Delbar and I work on Ben's team. I help market and plan um, our Certified Educator Conference as well as the student competitions. And I'm really excited to be here uh, to chat more about what to expect at the 2024 conference. Amazing. So Dominique, we'll come to you first. Tell us what is certified. I mean, I'm sure everyone who's listening to this has probably heard of our educator conference, but tell us a little bit about what it is, what people can expect. The certified educator conference is a conference that is dedicated to exploring the potential of certification and the value of certification in the classroom. And it is about teachers teaching other teachers. So we bring in some of the best of the best educators who Um, offer certifications in the classroom and teachers from all over the world or all over the U.S. come together to talk about best practices and how to increase pass rates and how certifications lead to jobs. Um, And they also get an opportunity to network and to celebrate and to learn and grow. It really is the premier educators conference. So I'm really excited that I get to play a part um, with it. Amazing. And Ben, we were just chatting about how Certified has evolved. This is our 10th year. Can't believe this has been going for a decade. We are so excited. Tell us what's happening this year at Certified 2024. Yeah, let me just go back and maybe just go back to that point. Yeah, let's paint a picture. Let's let's talk about how it's changed. Yeah, the 10th anniversary. So, you know, over 10 years ago, we got together and thought, would it be possible to bring a community of educators who are passionate about certification? And bring them together to build a community to have them teach and instruct each other and just network with each other. And so we we had that idea and we thought at first we don't even know if we can pull it off or if it would make sense. And so the first year we were just talking, we got about 150 attendees. And it was amazing because we had kind of set a goal if we could get 100, that would be, uh, we'd hit the mark. And so from that, We've gone now, this will be our 10th year. So it's almost like a school reunion. It's like a coming back, homecoming. And so we're just really excited about it because it's been 10 years in the making. We now uh, will attract probably over 600 educators. And we also have an aspect of a student competition that's involved. So with everyone included, we'll probably be in about 1,000 range uh, of attendees of this event. But we're just excited about it. So we've got some new things. You know, every year we say, what can we do new? What could uh, we add to the conference to enhance it? And so one of the things I want to just point out is we have keynote. Obviously, we have keynotes Monday, Wednesday, or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And the opening keynote is Ron Clark. Ron Clark actually gave our first keynote 10 years ago. And we thought, let's bring him back because he did such a fantastic job the first time. He's a uh, highly sought after speaker. He's got accolades with awards and he runs a, an academy but uh, we're excited to have him so he'll be back and we also have a closing keynote her name is melissa stockwell and she was in an accident or she lost her leg in the military and now she's a paralympic and competing in the olympics and so actually after she speaks at our event she'll be on going on to actually perform in the olympics and para after so uh, those are two things that 
I wanted to, uh, well, two of the speakers I wanted to bring out as far as that's concerned. With respect to kind of the overall agenda, we've got 12 breakout sessions. We have 18 workshops. So a breakout session would be an hour. A workshop would be an hour and a half. And it would be more in-depth, and more hands-on. Um, one of the things we've got to our certification lab. So each teacher that comes to this event has the option or the opportunity to become certified themselves. We found that uh, some of the teachers that actually teach certification in the classroom might not have had the opportunity to get certified themselves. So we give a we have a certification lab and then a learning and practice lab where they can go in, look at some learning product and actually take a practice exam to see how they fare and prepare for that exam. So those are a couple of things I wanted to spotlight. Maybe Dominique can add, add some color to some of the other things we've got. Yeah, no, I think that that's great. And I, I wanted to make sure you highlighted quickly uh, the competitions, but I wanted to make sure that we talked about that as well. What do the competitions look like? How How is that integrated with certified? So Dominique, do you want to touch on that? Yes, absolutely. So at the same time certified is happening, we have our U.S. National Championships. Um, and this this the U.S. National Championship are for the top Microsoft Office specialists and Adobe certified first professional students in the U.S. And so this year, I bet we'll have probably a little over 250 students come together uh, to compete. The MOS students, um, in order to even get an invitation to this event, they have to not only earn a high score on their MOS certification exam, but they need to end a qualification period ranked in first place in their state. And so these students are truly among the best of the best. The Adobe students have to earn a certification in Adobe Certified Professional in either InDesign, Photoshop, or Illustrator, or all of the above. And then they also submit a project, an original design project. And those students, this, and the students with the top projects um, receive an invitation to come compete. And so really, like, we're among some of the brightest students in the U.S. here. It's truly incredible. And so they all come to represent their states. Um, and when they're not competing, they have the opportunity to enjoy the student lounge, which has arcade games, board games, video games, snacks. It really is a really cool place to be. It's very common for teachers to be going to their sessions and to poke their heads in to see all these students having a blast. Um, this year, the students will also have opportunities to um, increase their professional development or to gain some professional development skills. Um, and we're really looking forward to that. There's going to be very specific sessions tailored for the students to help them prepare for their future careers or future educational pursuits, things like that. Um, and the final day of the U.S. National Championship, we have the, the award ceremony. So the students who perform best um, during the competition will be will earn prizes, um, scholarships, um, of course, titles, which is really cool too. For Microsoft Office Specialist or MOS, the students who rank, who earn first place will receive an all expenses paid trip to represent the U.S. at the Microsoft Office Specialist World Championship, which is really cool. And the top three Adobe students will receive an invitation to represent the U.S. at the Adobe Certified Professional World Championship. So it's a really exciting event. As a teacher, I think that that's one of the a great add-on for certified is that you can witness some of this happen happening, right? You can see the students in action. You can see how certification is making a difference in these students' lives. And you also can attend the award ceremony, which I feel is, well, I mean, it's one of my favorite parts of the entire conference where you get to see the students be recognized for their skills. Um, and you, uh, you can really feel the power that certification has had in their lives. And it's it's just so great to see them being empowered and to know and understand that they are smart and they are accomplishing great things. So that's a little bit about it. Um, to learn more, you can also check out certport.com and there's a link to check out for more information. Perfect. And I you've touched on this a little bit, Dominique. I'm glad that we've given kind of a full painted picture of what's happening at the conference. It's interesting, of course, for us being kind of behind the scenes and being able to see how everything kind of runs together. And we're talking about this throughout the year, not just in June. Uh, ben, you've been here for a really long time. What is your favorite part of attending Certified every year? 
my favorite part of attending certified is just seeing the educators and the teachers and attend the event and the feeling that they have that this respects them as business professionals it highlights the great work that they do because they make a huge impact on their students lives and it goes on generationally because their students have you know the value that they got out of the classroom and so it gives us a chance to watch them come together and to connect with each other to teach each other and also to have some fun this is an event that we have heart for learning we also have some really fun aspects of it. and when the teachers are done they give some rave reviews that it was something that they're not used to being treated like they are treated at certified and the environment they have the events that they participate in and even the amazing foods they have a chance to eat and so that's the best part to me that these the teachers the educators see that they're valued and the the great services they do to their students i agree i love that dominique anything that you wanted to add your favorite part from attending certified over the years yeah i would i would have to agree with ben um it really is great to come together with the educators and to celebrate them I love being able to see them network and to create relationships with teachers that they would have never met otherwise, but are maybe teaching the same exact things as them. I love being able to really treat them like professionals and to uh, provide opportunities for them to expand professional development. And I also just love celebrating them. I know that so historically we have done the um, Educator of the Year and it's always so great to be able to spotlight a teacher who's going above and beyond for their students and to really recognize them for what they're doing. And sometimes it's recognizing them for things that, I mean, they're probably doing alone in their classroom that no one ever sees, but it's really great to be able to highlight that and put it on the stage. So um, I, I think it's, it's really incredible. I, I love it. That opportunity for us to showcase and kind of spotlight to your point Dominique and Ben the good work that all of these educators are doing that often goes unnoticed so it's great for our team to be able to kind of put the spotlight on these incredible educators everyone that is listening and all of the work that you guys do that you think goes unnoticed we we want to make sure that you know that it's it's not unseen and that we appreciate it um of course for attending <clears throat> for attending the event we have you know, the registration fee. And this is why we're kind of pushing this right now is that we're registration is open. We want to make sure everyone has a chance to kind of take advantage of that early bird discount. So I wanted to talk about cost and budget for those who are interested now in attending the certified conference. So Ben, can you tell us a little bit about how that breaks down the fees and the hotel costs, what people can plan for? Yeah. So the price right now to attend is six ninety five, and it's a hundred dollars uh, discount right now. It will go off after April 1st to 795. Uh, the fee gets them access to everything at the event. It gives them access to the keynotes, these, the breakouts, the workshop, the lab, the learning practice lab, the events, the parties, the food, all the, the giveaways. So the individual teachers would also be responsible for their airfare there and their hotel. And we have a very discounted price of the hotel. It's at the Hilton Orlando Lake Buena Vista. And they would be able to, once they register on the uh, certified site, they will be then directed to register for the hotel. And so it's a great hotel. We've been there several times. And so I think people have uh, become accustomed to it as a good location for us. And so that's kind of the pricing and the way it would work for the teachers as they sign up. Perfect. So we kind of know what to expect, know what to ask the district and, and our higher ups to be able to budget for. Right. And we've talked about this just a little bit, um, but I wanted to just go through a little bit more of the evolution of certified and where educators can take advantage of this amazing community that we've been able to build over the years. So, Dominique, let's talk about what's changed with certified over the years. What are we most excited to see um, going forward into 2024's conference? Yeah, well, that is a great question. And in 2024, we have a lot of really exciting updates that I think Ben touched upon too. We really wanted to take, we, at the beginning of the planning stage, so right after certified in 2023, 
we looked at the conference agenda and we took feedback from other educators. We took feedback from um, other attendees to really find out, okay, what can we do to make the conference even better? The conference is great, but what can we do to improve uh, and to make a big splash for our 10 um, educator, our certified educator conference? And some things that have changed this year are, I mean, registration and opening on Sunday is actually major. Um, it's less exciting, right? But it's major. So once you show up on Monday, you don't have to wait in line. You can just dive right in. Um, this year, we have added additional workshops, which I'm really excited about. The workshops are meant to be more hands-on to get you really like right in the software, doing things, um, maybe saving lesson plans. Um, and really engaging with the presenter. So there's more of those. Um, and some of them are going to be offered by our various learning partners. So you can really dive into new and exciting learning curriculum that's available to you. Um, other really exciting things are, I mean, this year we're going to have a casino night, which I think is going to be really fun. The teachers can come, eat delicious food, be entertained, um, and you can win some prizes as well, which will be great. And then one part of the event that I'm most excited about is the teacher award gala. And so this is going to be a more cocktail or professional dress activity at the event. And there will be a really nice plated meal. There will be gifts and there will be a full program that highlights um, some teachers across the U.S. who are doing amazing things. Um, so we can come together so we can celebrate and so we can expand our network. I'm really excited about that. There's going to be a red carpet for teachers. We're really, it's just, I'm so excited to celebrate them and to thank them for what they're doing for, for students across the U.S. So those are some things that are new and exciting. Um, uh, the award gala, I mean, it includes more awards too. Historically, we have just done the educator of the year award, but this year you can expect more. So more people will be highlighted for the good that they are doing. So I'm really excited about it. And I can't wait to see everyone there um, and to applaud them. Incredible. We're so excited to have it. It's new and different every year, but there's the consistency of the community that I know is really what makes Certified so special. So where can people go if we're ready to register, if we're ready to learn a little bit more, see more about the agenda? Where can we go for more information from here? That is a really good question. So you can, of course, go to certiport.com and there are links there to go to the certified website. Or if you have a pen and paper ready, you can go to certified.certiport.com forward slash conference. And if you do that, it'll take you to our certified page. This page also includes a lot of the information that we talked about today, like a little bit about certified, our keynote speakers, the agenda. Um, you can actually even look at some of the breakout sessions and workshops you can look forward to. Um, and then there's also a button right at the front or right at the top that says register now. So you can go ahead, click that, and it'll walk you through registration. As Ben said, you want to do it sooner rather than later. Our early bird discount is expiring on April 1st. So save $100, register today. Uh, we don't want you to miss out on these great savings. And I'm excited to see you there. Thanks so much, Dominique and Ben. Any final thoughts about Certified that you wanted to share before we close out? I just want to thank the educators and teachers that uh, you know participate and for all the good work that they do. By attending this event, uh, they will walk away with 18 hours of professional development. We'll send them a certificate when it's over. We'll also send them links to all the presentations and all of the information that was presented there. And one of the things that just is amazing to me is that there are educators who will come to this event who are just kind of exploring, thinking about wanting to do this, and then will go to this event and go back to their schools, go back to their district, and implement a full program, and then come back the next year and actually teach uh, other teachers about it so it's really it's really fun it's just a really fun event and dominic has me so excited i can't wait to be there myself so we will see you guys in june june 17th to the 19th awesome thanks ben dominic any final thoughts that you wanted to share i know ben wrapped it up really nicely i i'm excited to see you there i'm excited to celebrate you thank you for everything that you do to empower students it does make a difference um, and 
yeah, like I said, can't wait to see you at Certified. Amazing. Thank you both so much. We're so excited to see everyone. The countdown is on. June is coming sooner than we thought. So we are excited to see everyone in Orlando, Florida this summer. Thanks for listening to another episode of our podcast. We're so happy to have you as part of our certified community. Make sure to follow and rate our podcast so that we can bring more educators into our wonderful and supportive group. We're also here to connect. So feel free to join us by visiting www.certified.certiport.com.